Hey guys, and welcome to Let's Play The Sims Medieval Pirates and Nobles. Um, this is the first, I think it's called Adventure Pack, I could be wrong, uh, from the Sims Medieval franchise. And I know I'm like a few months late, but because it was, I wasn't going to buy it at first, but I kind of changed my mind. But um, yeah, as you can see from my regular gameplay, I've only unlocked a few. I haven't played this game very much since I got it. Um, I did do an LP on it um, a while ago that has been taken down since. But we're pretty much just going to go ahead and get started into it. I'm going to actually go into one of these. Um, let me see here. I'm just going to go into this one. Um, it's Imperial Domination. Ruling a kingdom is fun, but you know what's more fun? Ruling an empire. It's time to, to <laughs> it's time to take Manifest Destiny by the horns and ride it into the outlying territories, expanding your lands as far as you can reach. So we're just going to go. Now, I don't know if this is kind of going to come with uh, new clothing items or anything like most Sims expansion packs or expansions do so we're gonna kind of see it so the the whole point of medieval is to pretty much create your kingdom and rule your kingdom and all of that like you have to create a monarch and all of this other good stuff so let's just go ahead and get started here um, I'm actually going to pick like the girliest one of all here <laughs> this is the princess's dream castle because we are going to create a queen so I have to name my kingdom. I'm going to name my kingdom uh, uh, I have no idea. I'm just gonna name it like uh Lakeshire. I think uh no that was from my other LP. I'm gonna Yorkshire. I think that is actually the name of a city or something. But whatever. Alrighty, and it's gonna load up here. It's my first time ever ever like loading this up so hopefully it's not too slow now for those of you that have never played medieval or anything um and that have played the sims and things like that i will tell you that medieval is a much lower quality video game than the sims 3 is therefore um you know for some of you that have like you know newer computers but the sims 3 still doesn't run very well on the newer computers um you can pretty much uh, you can pretty much like get this game and it should run a lot better it the it doesn't take some fancy fancy graphics card to run this game it's um, it's not like terrible quality but it's nothing compared to the Sims 3 so let's so welcome to the Sims medieval pirates and nobles <clears throat> you'll find the new quest in your book and your quest books are marked with a cross sword symbol Take the Omnius Tides quest to begin the epic story of pirates and nobles. Alright, in Furnished Mold you'll create, you'll find a huge array of new pirate and noble decor items along with new clothes and create a sim. The new items are marked with a special iron. <clears throat> Try your hand at treasure hunting. Just buy a map and shovel, and a shovel from the village shop and you are off to discover riches so I guess we can dig for treasure and all that good stuff and the new achievements, new ambitions, and new unlocks, blah 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 okay so let's uh, go ahead and create our create our monarch here uh, we're gonna just create a girl and I'm going to name her oh god I was about to say Elizabeth that would not be good, would it? I'm going to name her <coughs> Lillian because uh, of, from Lillian DeVille. If any of you know who Lillian DeVille is, you get so many brownie points. So many. But I'm just going to name her like a Lillian, 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 Lillian Rich. Rich, right? Rich, no. Lillian Banks. Whoopsie. <coughs> And, uh, Zebrel voice is fine. Uh, everything pretty much looks fine. I'm just gonna kind of thin her up a bit. And we're gonna choose her traits. Uh, she gets two positive traits and then one fatal flaw. So we're going to make her, what's this? Sims with the call of the sea, 
call of the sea trait can can't get enough of the high seas. Stay on land too long for too long, and your sim will feel like a fish out of water. So, for those of you that have never uh, played The Sims Medieval, I'll give you a quick rundown of the traits: adventurous, call of the sea, chivalrous, uh, creative, cook, uh, dedicated, earthy, eloquent, entitled, evil, excitable, friendly, fun-loving, good, greedy, haggler, hopeful, orphan, jokester, loves family, scholarly, solitary. So yeah, solitary, unkept, vain, and will ate my parents. <laughs> a few of the fleet of flaws are bloodthirsty, compulsive gambler, cowardly, cruel, cursed, drunkard, uh, fool, glutton, guild enemy, uh, hubris, I guess, insecure, insomniac, oh shit, licent, licentious, I don't know, misanthropo, I know this, miss, miss, I can say this, but I can't say it, whatever. Morose, I guess. I don't know. Puny, <laughs> uncouth, and weak constitution. Um, as we kind of get into it, when we create new new characters, we'll definitely go into these traits uh, a little bit better. But we are going to put. Uh, she's going to be. Uh, she's going to be dedicated, and she's also going to be. Um, she's also going to be, she loves family, so she's kind of a, not too bad of a queen, and her weakness, her fatal flaw is that she is going to be, let's make her a drunk. She's going to be a drunk. Drunkards have a love-hate relationship with various intoxicating beverages. They love to drink, drink often and in large amounts, but really hate life when they wake up and wake up the next morning. So she's going to be a drunk. Alrighty. And let's see a few hairstyles uh, here. Just a few of them. I'll just kind of show them off. There's so many. And they're all kind of nice in their own way. They're not too bad. I mean, some of them you really don't like, but they're not, they don't seem too bad for the most part. And then there are some with um, accessories. And this is the, uh, this one is that came with the Pirates and Nobles thing here. Ooh, and this one did too. This one is actually pretty cool. I like that one. Alright, so we're going to just give her, I think I'll just give her this one. I kind of like that one. And let's, uh, her eyebrows look okay for what they are. And her face pretty much looks fine too. Um, their faces, they kind of, I don't really, it, the changes I guess are a little too subtle for me. Um... I don't know, I guess, I'm looking at them now, I guess they're okay, but, it's a little hard to tell, like, going into it, what you, like, what you're getting, okay, so we'll just make her ice blue, and her nose, mm. like that. Lips look fine. I think she looks pretty fine. Makeup. What is this? Is this eyeshadow? Oh, it is. They didn't have, like, this before. I don't think they did. Oh, I guess they did, but this is some new piratey kind of stuff. Little winged liner. Thick. Okay. And then blush. Yeah, like, the whole makeup features and stuff are totally new, because I remember... I remember. So we're just going to give her a little blush. And then something for her lips. And then I guess we can give her some sort of eyeshadow. Can we change the colors? Yes, we can. So I'm going to change the colors to just a little, a whiter kind of color. Looks like it's laid on a bit heavy, but whatever. And then let's go into uh, clothing here. Oops, bag out a little bit more. There we go. And this is some of the stuff. So this came with the Pirates and Nobles, so this is kind of yeah. new. And I actually really like this. Mm. Uh -huh. This also came with Pirates and Nobles. 
And then there's like this executioner's thing. So, okay. So for the, oh, I missed like so many. <laughs> I think I might have scrolled too fast or something. Ah. But here's some <laughs> more. And, but this is like a bit of the, the clothing. Oh, this came with it. Oh, I want this. She's totally about to wear this, but we'll get back to that. I'll show you guys these here. More like, they're just more like queen and princessy mm. type of gowns and things like that. So I wanted her to get this. And I think <laughs> we're going to ah. do it in this uh, this red. No, let's go with this green here. Green is like one of my favorite colors. So this is our queen. What's her name again? Lillian Banks. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay, so we, um, let's try to, we can look at the castle really quickly. Um, this is like, you can, come on, go in. Okay, this is like what the castle, and the inside of the castle looks like, looks pretty nice. I like it, I like it, I like it. Um, you have rooms over here. This is, oh, this is where they cook their kitchen, and, uh beer keg thing over there, barrel, table, then the throne room, of course. Uh, just a little, I don't know, like a conference kind of room, I guess. And then, ugh, I'm not so, so not used to this. This is upstairs. This is their bathroom and the bedroom and just another, like, a study. And you can also, I believe, just like a study area. The library, I think it's called. And of course, the castle. This is all of the rooms, but the castle does expand as the game kind of uh, goes on. Alright, so we're going to go back into kingdom mode, and we will pick our first... We have to be, like, in a quest or whatever, so... Let me see here. More, more heroes need to be placed. So we also have to place another hero. Um... I guess we will kind of place that in uh, part two because we are running out of time here and I will figure out what we'll place when we come back. So um, I hope you guys enjoy this part. Uh, this is kind of just getting all started and of course we'll probably get more into it probably in part three and things like that. So definitely um, subscribe and don't forget to like and um, yeah, I will talk to you guys all later. Bye.